What's good? Good evening and welcome to the award-winning LAX 18 High School Sports Zone. I'm Josh Barry and he's Keith Farmer and trophies were being handed out today at Kroger Field. State Keith. championship kind. That yes, includes a couple of teams that know all about getting to a state championship game. Johnson Central been there six of the last seven years. In 2019 they beat Boyle County. The Rebels have been there four of the last five seasons and won it a year ago. Remember Johnson Central coach Jim Matney passed away during the season. Moment of silence before the game held in his honor. Still hard to believe he is gone. The Rebels strike first in this one. Jagger Gillis rolls out, hits Cole Lanter over the middle. He does the rest. 75 yard touchdown. Gone. Six nothing after a missed PAT. Rebels driving again and this time Gillis uses his legs and gets it into the end zone. Boyle County up 13 nothing at half. Boyle County not finished. Now up 16 nothing in Johnson Central. Well, they're going to try and get on the board. They do just that. Grant Rice scores. Failed two point conversion has it at 16 to 6. Less than a minute later, Rebels go right down the field. Gillis to Lanter for the second time. This would never end out for the Rebels. 30 13 the final score. Eli Gain has more from Kroger Field. Title Town remains Boyle County High School. The Boyle County Rebels taking down Johnson Central for their 10th state championship in program history. For head coach Justin Haddix, well, he's only been here two years. He's two for two in winning the state championship with the Rebels. <laughs> two for two, baby! <laughs> Uh, it's a testament to these kids. It's our whole program. It's not anything that, um, you know, I'm just blessed to be a part of the program, and, and it's no one person that makes it go. It, it's We've got a whole group of collective people who do a great job, and, and the mainly the main people are, are these guys right here, that our football players that work extremely hard, and our administrative supports us, and, uh, you know, you get to reap the benefits of it. You know, last year I thought I was going out as a champion. Then I got that COVID year. And, you know, I can say for six and all the seniors, it feels absolutely amazing. You know, it's something every kid dreams of in high school. And we're so blessed that we get to fill it twice. You know, it's, it's just amazing for me. The champs again. Big rematch in 2A state final where LCA took on Beachwood. The Tigers dominated the opening half with help from Mr. Football. Cam Hergott helped Beachwood jump out to a 20-point lead, but we know what this Eagles team can do. Just before halftime, LCA gets on the board. Drew Nevis to Parker Cheney. Big momentum swing here because LCA gets the ball at half and they march right down the field. Xavier Brown, Virginia commit, crashes in for six. That makes it 20 to 14 early in the third. The LCA defense stifling Hergott now running for his life, and the ball pops out. It's a foot race to get it, and Tyler Morris scoops it and scores. Just like that, LCA leads 21 to 20. Fast forward to under two minutes left, same score. Jake Conrad barely has enough leg to hit a 36-yard field goal but it's good. It's 23-21 with 145 remaining. 30 seconds left now. Fourth down and 12 for LCA. They bypass the 54-yard field goal and go for it all. Mason Moore had his man beat, but the ball is a little too far inside. And LCA has its season end with another heartbreaking loss. And let's go back out to Eli Gain at Kroger Field. Well, this game gives you two things, the thrill of victory or the agony of defeat. For Beachwood, they get to celebrate with a victory, and for the second straight year in the 2A state final, LCA is going through the agony of defeat in nearly identical fashion as a year ago. Had a chance to win it in the final minute, but it comes up short, and for the second straight year, the Eagles watch Beachwood celebrate on the opposite sideline. You know, I told our kids, you know, I love them. You know, that uh, it's easy to be when you're on top of the mountain. You know, it's easy to be all happy and smiles. But, you know, when you're in deep in the valley, sometimes you have to rely on your faith and your character. Looking back at the clock, just the same feeling as last year, you know. I just felt for my guys and the team next year who has to succumb this and come back to that. And the seniors who that's their last moments on the field, you know, looking at that clock winding down, nothing you can do about it. So these coaches just prepared us for this game as well as they could and uh, we just didn't execute couldn't make the plays we wanted to to finish off the game like we wanted to and then um you know almost the exact same feeling uh 
just said didn't go into overtime. So LCA finishes the year with a 14 and one record. As for Beachwood, they are the first high school football team in the state of Kentucky since 1994 to finish a season with a perfect 15 and 0 record. From Kroger Field, I'm Eli Gain, LEX 18 Sports. Thanks, Eli. Pikeville looking for its sixth state championship, taking on Russellville in Class A. A delayed handoff to the Panthers' Blake Birchfield results in a touchdown from three yards out. Pikeville was on the board first, now leading 20-13 to in the second quarter. Isaac McNamee keeps and scores, calls his own name there on the four-yard run. Pikeville had to hold off a tough Russellville team to win 30-27 to and claim another Class A title. There will be one more local team looking for a championship tomorrow. Frederick Douglass takes on South Warren in the 5A title game. The Broncos still a young program, but they'll be making their second appearance in five seasons. They lost to coming to Catholic in 2019. Frederick Douglass believes that first trip could help them bring the school's first state title. One thing I didn't think we did a great job of in 2019 is kind of settling into the game. It took us a little while. Now, Covington Catholic's really good, like South Warren. Obviously, you know, you're not here if you're not a good team. Uh, but I think it took us a little while settling in, just the basic fundamentals. So hopefully, you know, those kids that play the sophomores can kind of lead these other guys going into Kroger Field and executing the game plan. All right, let's transition to the hardwood. It's yes, a unique time of the year where high school football and basketball are the stars of the show. Yes, and it's the first week of high school basketball, <laughs> and most area teams already have a couple games under their belts. Let's start things off at the farm. Douglas hosting Brian Station. Celebrity appearances in the stands. UK freshman Ty Ty Washington <laughs> nice. and Damian Collins looking on. First quarter, Kai Simpson with the downtown get down. He led the Broncos with 29 points, but the defenders' aggressive defense really got Douglas out of sync early here. The steal. Jamarius Lindsay finished at the other end. 18 points for him. Later, Cam Yuna blessed sinks a buzzer beating three. He baptized the Broncos with a monster 31 points, 16 boards. Brian Station rolled 92 to 73. Over at Lafayette, the reigning 11th region champion Madison Central facing the Generals in their first road game of the season. Indians led by 11 with just three minutes to play. Abraham Nelson with the footwork finish there. He had 15 points, cuts the deficit to nine. Next, Jade Hunt is fouled from three. He'd make all three of his free throws. 15 points, six assists tonight for him. Lead cuts the six, but Central make a great defensive stop there. We'll harden on the block as Central get their first win of the year, 75 to 66. All right, it's Henry County Wildcats taking on the Frankfurt Panthers and Charles Ellis coming up with the drive and the pass to Ashton Austin, who gets a solid layup here, even under pressure from Henry's Sam Royalty. Speaking of, of that, it's Royalty here with a solid two-point field goal. Everyone contributing as the Panthers and Charles Ellis with another pass, this time to Jordan Blythe. Drives all the way from half court nice. to get the layup and the point playmaking uh, like this to find Frankfurt's success. Carter Gilbert, the rebound, quick handoff to Jordan Blythe, and uh, he'll pass to Caleb Hack, who nets another one for the Panthers. Frankfurt wins it 72 55. All right, right into Henry Clay versus Western Hills. Uh, sincere Madison with a solid layup. The Blue Devils brought some great team play. Multiple players passing between each other here. Azil Blackwell in the paint and a two there. And Blackwell with 14 in the game, contemplating the, the team play narrative as Conlon Brown passes Kanye Henderson back to Brown and Brown with a three point bucket. Consistent playmaking there. It is Henry Clay that would go on to win this one 83 to 65. All right, it's the ladies' turn now. Great crossing visiting Dunbar for their season opener. Second half, Bulldogs up nine. Amber Brandon with the board and put back here. She led Dunbar with 26 points, but Warhawks go on a run in the third. Rachel Smith with the steal. Woo Takes the contact and one. Smith led GC with 19 points. Later, Timothy Williams lets it fly from deep. 15 points for her, but the Bulldogs are able to keep their distance at the free throw line, going on to win 58-51 the final. And as, as always, always, we hope your favorite, favorite team won.